Little is known about the prophet Micah except for what is written in the book and a single reference made by Jeremiah in chapter 26. Micah was from the town of Moresheth in southern Judah and most likely prophesied sometime between 750 and 686 BC. This was during the reigns of Jotham, Ahaz, and Hezekiah, which makes Micah a contemporary of Isaiah. Micah seems especially sensitive to the social ills of his day, particularly how they affected the small towns and the villages of his homeland. Micah also predicted the fall of the capital of Samaria, which came in 722-721. And the structure of the book of Micah is a collection of short prophetic messages organized into a pattern of three cycles of judgment and salvation and deliverance. In fact, Micah's messages alternate between prophecies of doom and prophecies of hope. Micah warns against God's hatred of idolatry, injustice, rebellion, and the empty ritualism, but also how he delights in pardoning the penitent. This message from Micah is reminiscent of something that's written in Romans chapter 11, verse 22. It reads, Consider therefore the kindness and sternness of God, sternness to those who fell, but kindness to you, provided that you continue in his kindness. Otherwise, you will also be cut off. Micah chapters 3 through 5 signify the second cycle, God's indictment of Judah's leaders, but also future hope for God's people. In fact, in chapter 3, he rebukes the corrupt civil leaders and the false prophets. By chapter 4, he's speaking of the mountain of the Lord as a reference to the end days. A rather famous description and imagery is described in Micah chapter 4, verses 3 through 4. It reads, He will judge between the many peoples and will settle disputes for strong nations far and wide. They will beat their swords into plowshares and their spears into pruning hooks. Nation will no longer take up sword against a nation, nor will they train for war anymore. Everyone will sit under their own vine and under their own fig tree and no one will make them afraid, for the Lord Almighty has spoken." Just a couple of verses later, we get a glimpse now of God's mercy and God's deliverance for his people. Chapter four, verse six reads, "'In that day,' declares the Lord, "'I will gather the lame, "'I will assemble the exiles "'and those I have brought to grief. "'I will make the lame my remnant, "'those driven away a strong nation. "'The Lord will rule over them in Mount Zion, "'and from that day, and forevermore. As for you, watchtower of the flock, stronghold of daughter Zion, the former dominion will be restored to you. Kingship will come to daughter Jerusalem. This message is a powerful image to consider in the current political climate involving Israel's relationship to the rest of the Middle East. See, here we are more than 2,500 years later, and we see very similar events unfolding yet again in the Holy Land. We should be in constant prayer for God's will and God's deliverance. Because what we see in God's word is that the patterns repeat, but God's word is true and his prophecies will always come to pass.